Attention, all the news in this video I have collected from the internet, we deliver you the most realistic news also make sure to read the subtitle. Arsenal get first win of pre-season by thrashing Millwall at London Coney. Arsenal beat Millwall 4-1 on Saturday in a friendly at their London Coney training ground, securing their first win of pre-season after a tricky trip to Scotland. The Gunners were due to fly out to America for the Florida Cup, but after a number of positive COVID test results around the club, they cancelled those plans. After a defeat to Hibs and draw with Rangers north of the border. In this match, Pepe got on the score sheet, as did Callum Chambers, while Foller and Balogun and Alexandra Lacazette came off the bench to also score. Arsenal have friendlies against Chelsea, the 1st of August, and Tottenham, the 8th of August, scheduled, before travelling to face Brentford in their Premier League opener on the 13th of August. Arsenal, to complete £50 million Ben White transfer this weekend, with Brighton defender booked in for medical. The Gunners have chased the Brighton and England defender for much of the summer and had a £50 million bid accepted earlier this month. White then agreed personal terms before the move was delayed by White's late call-up into Gareth Southgate's final England squad for Euro 2020. But the wait could be over soon since White is booked in for a medical this weekend, report the mail. The delay has been caused by White's post-tournament holiday, with the 23-year-old enjoying a breakaway in Mykonos, Greece. Mikel Arteta hinted at arrivals after Arsenal's friendly against Rangers last week and now White looks set to become the second summer arrival following the addition of Albert Sambi Lokonga. The Gunners loaned out William Saliba and released David Lewis this summer so are in need of a new centre-back as Ben White immediately. Granit Xhaka's future at Arsenal becomes clear after latest development. Granit Xhaka has tried to leave Arsenal twice in the last two years with the first one having came after the incident with the fans that saw him lose the captaincy, but he changed his mind after talks with Mikel Arteta who reassured him that he was going to be one of his main players in the squad. There has however not been any reports claiming that Mikel Arteta wants to keep him this time hence showing that he really might be on his way out of the club. A report by the Daily Mail has confirmed that Granit Xhaka will soon join as Roma in this summer transfer window in a deal believed to be around €20 million Euros after the Italian side decided to cave in to the demands of the North Londoners. It is claimed that only final details are yet to be completed but that the as Roma hope to have him as soon as possible so that he could join his new teammates on a pre-season trip. The report claims that as Roma boss Jose Mourinho made Xhaka his main summer transfer target and that the Swiss international will sign a deal that will see him stay in Rome until 2025. Jamie O'Hara doesn't understand by Arsenal transfer rumours about goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale. Discussing Arsenal's transfer business on TalkSport, Jamie O'Hara said, this literally sums Arsenal up doesn't it? It sums them up business-wise. They got rid of Emiliano Martinez, who's a brilliant keeper for what, £20 million or something. Let him go, a snip, was one of the best keepers last season. And now they're gonna go and sign someone from a relegated team for £30 million, what are they doing? Who is doing their business there? Seriously, what are they doing? They are a mess. What do you think about Jamie O'Hara talking about Arsenal transfer? Arsenal transfer target Denis Zakaria has told Borussia Mönchengladbach he wants to leave this summer, according to sporting director Max Ebel. The Bundesliga side have unsuccessfully attempted to renew Zakaria's contract, which expires in 2022. Instead, the midfielder has made it clear he wants to move on, and that could trigger the attention of the Gunners, who have been linked. City were linked with the 24-year-old last summer too, and Pep Guardiola got the chance to cast his eye over the young talent in the Champions League last 16 in February. Now Zakaria could be available for a reduced price given his contract situation and a desire to leave. And United and City could have the upper hand in a possible transfer battle, with Arsenal unable to satisfy the Switzerland midfielder's desire to play in Europe. Zakaria has played in both the Champions League and Europa League during his time at Gladbach. If you like the video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel.